John the Twenty Thirds predicted in 1960, once more the light of Christianity will come out of Damascus. The story you are about to see is the fulfillment of that prophecy. Damascus, one of the oldest cities in the world. The old walls, the old gates, still stand. of Damascus seeking St. Paul's death, he was lowered over this wall to escape. The house of Ananias, where he was converted, is still there. This house will come that new light that was predicted by John the Twenty Third. The light will come from this icon. And light will come from a girl named Myrna. preaching. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. The light began his preaching with the same words. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. This light was carried to the world by St. Paul from Damascus. The kingdom of Christ spread throughout the entire world. There was one king, one faith, and one kingdom. The kingdom was the church of Christ, his people. The light was with them. They were united with one mind, one heart. Christ was with them and in them. The church was the mystical body of Christ, his bride. The two were one. From city to city, from country to country, Christ's kingdom spread throughout the entire world. For a thousand years it was one. Then something happened. The queen of the kingdom of Christ watched her children fight, hate, and divide. The mother of Christ our mother watched her children, her family, fight each other. It happened in the year 1054. Churches were destroyed. Icons were taken out and burned. Yes, and even the icons of Sophania. Then instead of one kingdom, there were two, then three, four, and many more. St. Paul was the first to bring this light to the world. He started from Damascus. 
It was just outside these walls that Christ blinded Paul for three days. Saul, Saul, why do you persecute me? He was carried to Damascus, unable to see the light. that Paul was taken to the street called Strait. Ananias found him and took him down this narrow road into this house. Ananias, which still stands today, Paul received his sight, was baptized, received the Holy Spirit, and saw the light. He carried this light of Christianity from Damascus to the world. Only ten minutes from the house of Ananias is another house, the house of Sophonia. In this house, a new light began to shine in 1982. This is the miracle of the master. The story you are about to see is a story from God about his kingdom and his mother. It is the story of a young 18-year-old girl named Mirna. From this girl, a light began to shine, a light that will light the world again. On November 22, 1982, Mirna and two other women prayed for her sister-in-law who was very sick. As they prayed, light came from Mirna's hands. Mirna didn't notice it. After the light, oil began to flow right out of her skin. A woman quickly told Mirna to put her hand on the sick woman. She was instantly cured. This was only a flicker of light. The true miracle of Damascus was about to start. On November 27, 1982, the Feast of the Miraculous Meadow, a three-inch tall icon of the Virgin Mary and Christ Child began to pour out oil. The oil flowed out the bottom of the icon and onto the floor next to Mirna's bed. Oil again appeared on Mirna's hands. Nicholas, her husband, went out to call all of his relatives to see what was happening. Within the first hour, enough oil to fill four dishes came out of the icon. Many people came to see. Thousands more came. The icon continued to pour oil. A hundred percent pure olive oil. The oil of the sacrament. 